Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer with the Parish of Jarrow and Simonside. Good morning, Jackie. First through the door to dear. Good morning. You are very welcome to add your prayers to those of ours. Um, you can follow the service online. There's a link in the comments box. You may prefer to follow with your Bible at home. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, or, well, if you are following with your Bible at home, let me give you the readings that we're using this morning. We have Psalm 40. And Matthew 26, 1 to 16. Let me just pop them into the box as well. So we'll continue to leave some silence during our prayers for your own prayers and we'll also continue with the reflections within daily um, reflections for daily prayer as we have been but let's just be still for a moment and get ready to worship together. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know. Be still. Be. Good morning, Judith and Tracy. And Evelyn, good morning, welcome. And welcome to you if you're joining us for the very first time today. Today the church remembers Francis de Sales, Bishop of Geneva, teacher of the faith, 1622. And today is the seventh day of the week of prayer for Christian unity. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous, and all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, King of the nations. To you be praise and glory for ever, from the rising of the sun to its setting. Your name is proclaimed in all the world as the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts. Anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, 
So may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 40. And the refrain is, Great are the wonders you have done, O Lord my God. Great are the wonders that you have done, O Lord my God. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He brought me out of the roaring pit, out of the mire and clay. He set my feet upon a rock and made my footing sure. He has put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many shall see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the one who trusts the Lord, who does not turn to the proud that follow a lie. Great are the wonders you have done, O Lord my God, how great your designs for us. There is none that can be compared with you. If I were to proclaim them and tell of them, they would be more than I am able to express. Great are the wonders you have done, O Lord my God. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire, but my ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sacrifice for sin you have not required. Then said I, Lo, I come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me that I should do your will, O my God, I delight to do it, your law is within my heart. I have declared your righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I did not restrain my lips, and that, O oh Lord, you know. Your righteousness I have not hidden in my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness and truth from the great congregation. Great are the wonders you have done, O Lord my God. Do not withhold your compassion from me, O Lord. Let your love and your faithfulness always preserve me. For innumerable troubles have come about me. My sins have overtaken me that I cannot look up. They are more in number than the hairs of my head and my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and altogether dismayed who seek after my life to destroy it. Let them be driven back and put to shame who wish me evil. Let those who heap insults upon me be desolate because of their shame. 
Great are the wonders you have done, O Lord my God. Let all who seek you rejoice in you and be glad. Let those who love your salvation say always, The Lord is great. Though I am poor and needy, the Lord cares for me. You are my helper and my deliverer. O oh my God, make no delay. Great are the wonders you have done, O oh Lord my God. Let us pray. Free us from our sins, O God, and may our sacrifices be of praise to the glory of your Son, our Redeemer, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our canticle this morning is Song of the New Jerusalem, words from Isaiah chapter 60 Above you the Holy One arises and above you God's glory appears That's our refrain Above you the Holy One arises and above you God's glory appears Arise, shine out for your light has come The glory of the Lord is rising upon you Though night still covers the earth and darkness the peoples, above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. The nations will come to your light, and kings to your dawning brightness. Your gates will lie open continually, shut neither by day nor by night. The sound of violence shall be heard nor longer in your land, or ruin and devastation within your borders. You will call your walls salvation, and your gates praise. No more will the sun give you daylight, nor moonlight shine upon you. But the Lord will be your everlasting light, your God will be your splendour. For you shall be called the city of God, the dwelling of the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. Our New Testament reading this morning is from the Gospel of St Matthew, chapter 26, verses 1 to 16. When Jesus had finished saying all these things, he said to the disciples, you know that after two days the Passover is coming and the Son of Man will be handed over to be crucified. Then the chief priests and the elders of the people gathered in the palace of the high priest who was called Caiaphas and they conspired to arrest Jesus by stealth and kill him. But they said, not during the festival, or there may be a riot among the people. Now, while Jesus was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very costly ointment. And she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. 
But when the disciples saw it, they were angry and said, Why this waste? For this ointment could have been sold for a large sum and the money given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? She has performed a good service for me. You will always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. By pouring this ointment on my body, she has prepared me for burial. Truly, I tell you, wherever this good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. Then one of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What will you give me if I betray him to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver. And from that moment he began to look for an opportunity to betray him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We can just pause there a moment and just think on the many words we've heard this morning. We do have a, a reflection on our reading this morning. Good morning to Carol and Sonny and Sally. This morning's reflections from My Malcolm Geit, Geit, Tracy will know how this is pronounced. Malcolm is a, is a very well known poet and writer. And he's looking at the gospel reading we've just heard. And he's focused in on verse 8. Why this waste? This passage offers a meditation on the difference between true value and mere valuation. an illustrating and undergirding of Oscar Wilde's famous dictum that a cynic is someone who knows the price of everything and the value of nothing. Here we are shown two distinct instances of valuation. The costly ointment is valued a little vaguely at a large sum. And the disciples ask in horror, why this waste? In John's version, it's not the disciples, but more poignantly and sharply, Judas himself, who makes the objection and values the ointment very precisely at 300 denarii. Then the second valuation as of Christ himself, the price of his life. 
And Judas again gives an exact valuation of the priceless at the rather smaller sum, 30 pieces of silver. But running counter to the tabulation of this worldly accounting is the current of the gospel, the currency of grace. Jesus sees not the mere price of the ointment, but the infinite value of the love that lavished it. The extravagant response to his own extravagant love. For he knows that the breaking of the precious jar, whose fragrance richly fills the room, anticipates the breaking open of his wounded side, the release of his heart's blood, and with it, the love at the heart of God for the heart of humanity. A love whose fragrance and beauty still richly fill the world. Thank you for your reflections, Carol. Yes, we will pray for the people of Ukraine. Judas, because we never thought of it like that before. Let's respond to scripture this morning with words from Psalm 96. Or worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is King. Or worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. All worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. And the Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah, the refrain at the beginning and the end. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, 
and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ. Let us pray to the Father. Heavenly Father, we pray for the coming of your kingdom. You sent your Son to bring good news to the poor, sight to the blind, freedom to the captives, and salvation to your people. Anoint us with your Spirit. Rouse us to work in his name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Send us to bring help to the poor and freedom to the oppressed. As we pray for all peoples who are suffering at this time around the world, <clears throat> thinking this morning of the people of the Ukraine, and thinking also of people closer to home anyone struggling this morning. May they know your comfort, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, send us out to tell the world the good news of your healing love as we remember all who are suffering at this time, in mind, body or spirit, and all those we know and love in hospital or residential care. Remembering this morning, John Ellison, Jessica McCaskill, Carrie Waggett, Doreen Moig, Andrew Garvert, Mrs Hewitt, Pat Middleton, Dorothy Macbeth, Stella Matthews, Michael Hughes, Chris Haynes, John Pike, Anne Taylor, Rod Taylor, Carol Woodfield, Christine, Beatrice Yorston, Wynne Aldersnade, Gillian Mavis, Grant Macbeth, 
Susan Fisher, Ruth Banks, James Shepherd, Marjorie Carruthers, Anne Henderson, Brenda Prophet, Stan, Gary, Jim, John Thorburn, Ashton, Marion, Betty Hall, Isla Mohammed, Gary Patterson, Jonathan Hall, Jean Bounce, Judith, Derek Yorston, Tracy, Valerie, Tawny, Michelle, George Dunn, Maureen McLaughlin, William Fisher, Margaret Austin, Jimmy Finn, Baby Chloe Grace Taylor, Killian Coyles, Jean Q. Look at those people on our hearts today. May they know your healing presence, your comfort and your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Send, Lord, send us to those who mourn, to bring joy and gladness instead of grief. We pray for all who are receiving end-of-life care today and all who care for them, their family and friends at home in hospital or hospice. And we pray for all who have died recently As we pray for the repose of the soul from Nick Lindsay, Bill Ward and Bob Hurst. And we pray for all whose years mind falls at this time, all those we love but see no longer. We continue to commend them to your eternal care. Let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, send us to proclaim that the time is here for you to save your people. Father, use us, unify us, unworthy as we are, to bring in your kingdom of mercy, justice, love and peace. Empower us by your spirit and unite us in your Son that all our joy and delight may be to serve you now and forever. And our collect for today. Holy God, who called your Bishop Francis de Sales to bring many to Christ through his devout life and to renew your church with patience and understanding, grant that we may, by word and example, reflect your gentleness and love to all we meet. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Believing the promises of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thank you for joining us this morning. Carol, you just added a comment. There is nothing that is as precious as the love of Jesus. Oh, that's lovely, Carol. Thank you for sharing that. So the week lies ahead of us. I don't know what the week has in store for you or your diary or your ministry. I do know that we have um, a, a live stream service on this page, 10 o'clock Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. That's with Reverend Stewart. All being well, I'll be back with you on Friday. We also have our first full week of Places of Welcome Plus that are open 11 till 1 today, Monday at Action Station, Tuesday at St Peter's, Wednesday at St Simon's and Thursday at St John the Baptist. The services each day are in the same places so if you want to attend an in-person service, Tuesday St Peter's, Wednesday St Simon's. First day of St John the Baptist, all at 10 a.m. So I look forward to catching up with you again on Friday. Whatever you are doing today, I hope it is a peaceful day, a peaceful day, a day that you know God's grace in your life, a day with God moments for you to treasure in your heart. And let me send you on this morning with God's blessing. May God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you this day and always and grant you his peace and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit remain with you and those who you love this day and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. And I'll see you Friday. Bye-bye.